So, Ms. Savandika, see, again, this rounding of numbers is a bit tricky topic like significant digits. And, you know, after, say, solving 15 to 20 questions, you'll get the hang of how to round off the numbers. Are we okay? Yes, sir. But it's a bit tricky. Yeah. And usually, you know, this is how the question might be asked. Round off the following digit as indicated up to three digit, up to four, up to five, up to one, up to two digits. So these are the kind of questions which are asked. And this is how we'll practice. Now, let us try to go through the rules. So this is, you know, like we are trying to do this question rounding, round of the following to three significant digits. So these are the kind of questions which can be asked. So let us uh, slowly look at, look at the rules for rounding off. Again, the initial one or two rules are easy. And after that, it becomes a bit tricky. So the first rule is simple. So in rounding off, the last figure kept should be unchanged if the last, if the first figure dropped is less than four. So what this implies is, so for example, uh, if only decimal is to be kept. So for example, I want to keep, uh, you know, the number only till one decimal point. So I'm given a number like 6.422. I just want to keep the number till 6.4. Now, after that, what number do I want to drop? I want to drop the number two. Now two is less than five. So this number would remain as it is. Are we clear? Avantika? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, there is one way in which I find this topic a bit simpler. I try to imagine the number sitting on a seesaw. So how I see it is that, you know, if the number is greater than five, then the seesaw would go something like this. And if the number is less than five, then the seesaw would go like this. Have you understood? Yeah. So this is one way in which I imagine how to round off. You might have another way in which you can look at the numbers. I look at these numbers like, you know, wherever you want the number to be rounded off, you put this uh, pivot on that number. Are we clear? Yeah. So let us look at uh, case number two, rounding of numbers. Last digit should be increased by one. If the first figure dropped, first figure dropped is greater than five. So I want to keep the digit decimal point till one decimal point only. So I want to keep this number like this only, this only, but after four, I see a eight. Now eight is greater than five. So the seesaw will tilt towards the right. So therefore 6.4, 6.4 will become 6.5. Are we clear? Yeah. This is if I want to keep the decimal to one place, but in this question, which they are discussing, they want to keep the digit to two points. Are we clear? So if yeah. I want to keep it to two point, then I need to drop this number. This number is more than five. So therefore the number will become 6.49. Mr. Vandika, any doubt? No. Again, if we take this uh, same example, if we take this same example and let us assume we wanted to keep three digits. So 6.4872. We want to keep three digits after decimal point. Now this is a number that I want to drop. This number is less than five. So therefore the number would be 6.487. Mr. Avantika, are we clear? Yes. Now, if you are getting the hang of it, what you will understand is that 6.4872 has five significant digits. 6.5 has two significant digits. 6.49 has three significant digits and 6.487 has four significant digits. Do you see somewhere a relation between significant digits and rounding off? Yeah. Okay. So these are pretty simple rules. Now let us come to bit tricky questions. So KC is in rounding of numbers. If the first digit dropped is five and all the numbers following the five are zero or if there are no numbers after five, then the last digit should be kept unchanged if the last figure is even. So what this means is, let us try to understand. 
तो सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स फाइव या एंड सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फाइव आर वी क्लियर या ओके इन बोथ द एग्जांपल्स आई जस्ट वांट टू कीप द नंबर्स टू थ्री सिग्निफिकेंट डिजिट्स आर वी क्लियर या सर इन बोथ द केसेस See, in both the cases, I have told you, I want to keep three significant digits. That is my requirement. So that is why I have to drop this as well as I have to drop this. Are we clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, there are no figures after five. Yes, there are no figures after five. I don't see any figures after five. Are we clear? Miss Avantika, are we clear? Yeah. Okay. the last digit is even in this case the last digit is even but in this case the last digit is odd are we clear yeah so in case the last digit is even then the number is unchanged so this will become 6.66 are we clear yeah but if the last figure is odd if the last figure is odd and the number to be dropped is 5 then you will have to increase the last number by 1 so that it becomes even are we clear yes sir should we take another example no i understood let us take another example so for example 6.735 and 6.745 Yeah, in both the cases, I want three significant digits, three significant digits. So this is a number that needs to be dropped. Are we clear? Yeah. If I drop this, there is a odd number here. So this odd should be increased by one so that it becomes a even number. Are we clear? Yeah. here if i drop this 5 the last digit is 4 which is a even number so the rounding off would be 6.74 are we clear yeah now are we clear yeah but one thing that you need to understand is that these rules are only applicable if there is no digit after 5 or there are zeros after 5 are we clear yeah so these two sub clauses so these two cases case c and case d can only be applicable if there is a number like either this or there is a number like this are we clear yeah and skip kar do bhai and coming to the last rule in rounding off if the first figure dropped is 5 and there are any figures following 5 which are not zero so for example let us take let us continue the same example so 6.665 and after 5 there are some numbers are we clear yeah then the last number kept should be increased by 1 so therefore <laughs> i need to drop this but there are numbers after this so the last digit would automatically be increased by 1 are we clear yeah again if you see my seesaw example now look at the seesaw example again now let us look at the seesaw example again you want to drop this 5 and there are numbers after this of course the seesaw will tilt towards right are we clear yeah and that is what we see in case number e and you need to trust me on this that when you go to youtube they have made a mess of this rounding of 5 so this is the you know the best write up that i could get on google 
of course it is made by one of the foreign universities so that is why it makes sense indians are to matlab kachra kiya hua is it making sense or not yeah so this is not my document this is i've taken it from google but this is the best way in which the rounding off has been explained usually what and i'll tell you where the confusion happens usually all in even in ncert textbooks they stop at case d that is all that they explain they explain case c case d but then the critical part this case e they don't explain and this is very important it is it becomes very important because this case c and case d are only applicable for cases where after 5 either there is no number or after 5 there are zeros the critical aspect is what happens if after 5 there are some numbers this part nobody explains and that is why the confusion starts are we clear yeah and i'll give you an example so for example if you look at this and you will understand what i'm trying to tell you so for example if i look at this 15.654 i want to have up to three digits i want to keep only this so this is a number that i want to drop are we clear yeah now technically if i look at only case c and case d the number should be 15.6 are we clear yeah because it's a even number even number but yeah. it is only when i look at rule e that i understand that 5 yeah. is followed by a 4 and that yeah. is why the rule will become 15.7 and that is why 15.7 is the correct answer it is only due to that 4 which is half on the right of 5 that the see saw bends towards right and that is why i have to add a number but if i had only looked at rule number if i had only looked at rule number uh, this uh, uh, this rule number c have mm. you heard if i had only yeah, looked yeah. at rule number c then what I, i would have assumed was that of course there is a even number so if there is a even number it should be 15.6 but 15.6 is a incorrect answer any doubt no because again i am reiterating case c and case d are only applicable if either there are no numbers after 5 or after 5 there are only zeros are we clear mr samantika are we clear yeah so this is a you know confusion which is i saw five six youtube videos and you know nobody actually talks about uh, this uh, rule number e which is very critical any doubt mr vantika no so now if you look at so this is a beautiful pdf that someone has made uh mr david livison so the gentleman has made beautiful pdf so let us look at what he suggests that 6.422 only one decimal is required so this will be 6.4 6.4872 you require only two decimal places so 7 is there so this will be 6.49 6.997 you want only two decimal places so this is 7 this 7 has to be dropped if this 7 has to be dropped no number of decimal places desired yeah only two so if the 7 has to be desired one has to be added and when i add one it becomes 7.00 are we clear yeah 6.65 only one number is there and 5 has to be dropped after 5 there is only 0 6 is a even number so that is why the answer is 6.6 are we clear yeah 7.485 two decimal places after 5 there is no number 8 is even so 6.7.48 2.5 
two decimal places so 7.75 five has to be dropped after five there are only zeros so this five would become six do you see this six yeah. is it making sense yeah 8.995 two decimal places five has to be dropped nothing after five so and nine is odd so it will be increased so the answer is nine 6.6501 only one decimal place only one decimal place five is there but there are numbers here but six is an even number uh, yeah six is an even number but after five there is a number so that is why even though it is even that rule number c or d is not applicable rule number e is applicable is it making sense that odd yeah. even rule is not applicable yeah See, especially, you know, if you are doing engineering, then this is very important. 7.48520, because in engineering, you will be doing all this uh, rounding of significant digit stuff. So 4.855, but after five, lot of numbers are there. So 7.49 would be the right answer. Are we clear? Yeah. Is there one thing I need out? No. So... Now you can try to do these questions. These eight questions. Just try to do if you get the hang of the concept or not. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ms. Avantika, this is clear. Are we okay about this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. See you. Ta ta. 15.75 up to three digits, three significant digits. So I want only this, this can be dropped. So if this is dropped, there is nothing after five. So seven would be rounded off to 15.8. Mr. Vantika, are we clear? Yes. Rule C, D is applicable up to four digits. So these are the four digits. I need to drop this. I can drop this without any problem. 15.65 up to three digits. So I have to drop five. There is nothing after five and this is a even number. So this would be 15.6. Are we clear? Yeah. Up to five digits. So one, two, three, four, five, seven has to be dropped. Seven is more than five. So it will be 14, two, six, seven and zero. Are we clear? Yeah. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that this seven has to be dropped and I need only five significant digits. So one, four, two, six, seven has to be dropped. So six would become seven and seven is dropped. So this will become zero. And of course, there are five significant digits only. Are we clear? Yeah. Okay. Then six part up to three digits. So basically this should be I want only this, this has to be dropped because this has to be dropped. It will become 6.00 into 10 raised to power 5. One thing are we clear? Yeah. 0. 0.7995 up to one digit. So I just want one digit. So basically if I you know, understand this in terms of significant digits. If a number is like 0 0.7 or 0 0.8, then it has only one significant digit. Are we clear? Yeah. So now we, what we need to understand is, is it 0 0.7 or 0 0.8? I need to drop this nine because I need to drop nine. Nine is more than five. So this 0 0.7 will become 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 would be the correct answer. Are we clear? Yeah. And then we come to the last uh, example up to th two digits. So this should be something like 2.5 into 10 is or minus four, or it should be 2.6, either of these two. Yeah. So this nine has to be dropped. Nine is more than five. So this 2.5 will become 2.6. So this will be the correct answer. This is the incorrect answer. Are we clear? 
if this was 2.51 2 3 into 10 is or minus 4 and up to two digits then of course i had to drop this and this is less than 5 so the final answer would be 2.5 into 10 is or minus 4 is one thing are we clear yeah okay so now tomorrow when we meet i'll just tell you what we'll do tomorrow tomorrow when we meet we'll do these uh, calculations of addition okay. subtraction and division okay. and there will require this rule of significant uh, rounding off this rounding of uh, rule and once we have done this once we have done this then we'll move on to error analysis so error analysis is uh, important topic are we clear okay. yeah